Good day, everyone. There's been a lot of talk in the media and um, just generally in public about Eskom facing a grid blackout. And I just want to explain to you what that would mean and how that can be pre prevented and why I can say that it's highly unlikely for a complete grid blackout to take place. So for a total grid blackout to happen, you should have no generating capacity that can literally uh, keep part of the grid alive and supply other power stations on the grid uh, with enough power to keep the auxiliaries going to start units back up again that have tripped. And within ESCOM, there are a couple of power stations or units that can actually um, ensure that that doesn't happen. And one of those power stations uh, are Kuburg Nuclear Power Station, where both of the units at Kuburg have a uh, black start capability in other words they can house load those units and um, even if the grid uh, breaks down if one of those units house loads successfully they can rebuild the grid by supplying other power stations with enough power to get the pumps running to get going and actually get back onto the grid and build the, uh, the grid back up in blocks another um, power station that can do this is Drakensberg so Drakensberg pump storage scheme the units there can also black start the grid and you need to keep the water levels in the upper dam at Drakensburg above black start levels so once your level in that dam drops below black start levels there's not enough water left for black start capabilities and this is why Eskom often has to do load shedding or load reduction to make sure that Drakensburg can keep its levels above black start and as long as that is the case we can rebuild the grid and a complete um, blackout isn't possible because if you have one of those units you're still supplying a portion of the grid and everything isn't completely blacked out you can rebuild the grid if we had to lose all our units we have nothing available and there's a complete and utter blackout we're in serious trouble we would then have to use our uh, the diesel or the gas turbines um, at Ankerlich or Gorikwa uh, to actually try and restart the grid and Ankerlich can certainly do that they would just need the fuel supplies but it, it will take an extended period of time to do that uh, there can be huge disruption in the country within that period of time however a, a complete grid blackout is quite something um, and you need so many things to go wrong uh, for that to happen now even when you have areas in the country without power, that is a huge disruption and a huge risk. If you cannot bring that back uh, within a couple of hours or within at least a day, uh, you're going to have serious problems happening. And um, this is with regards to, especially at nighttime, um, if an entire area is blacked out, uh, violence can break out. It's possible for uh, for criminals to start doing all sorts of things, looting and pillaging and start, and that's certainly not something we want. Now, we know we're near that at this stage, but as there's more breakdowns at Eskom and the units the amount of units on the grid becomes smaller and smaller. The risk uh, of us losing control of large areas of the grid becomes higher. But uh, the people uh, at national control and the regional control centers are experienced. Um, they, they are probably some of the most experienced in the world, uh, considering the circumstances we find ourselves in. And they have proven themselves quite capable to load shed sufficiently so that the grid does not collapse. So I trust the capability abilities and the abilities uh, to ensure that this doesn't happen it would take unprecedented events to take us to a level where we we sit with one or two units remaining like one of the Kuburg units or some of the units at Drakensburg to actually black start the grid so we don't even want to get to that stage but even then there is still power available there is not nothing and um, you know Eskom has done black start tests at Drakensburg. They, they do these tests uh, frequently and uh, those tests have been done successfully where they can prove that those Drakensburg units can black start. Uh, we know that both the Kuburg units, either one can do the same. So, you know, the prophets of doom out there, you need to understand what it means to have nothing. Um, it's not that simple. And besides that, 
um, if you if you look at people wanting for bad things to happen, that's just negative energy. Please stop. Uh, stop wanting uh, bad things to happen to the country. Uh, if you do that, uh, I, I actually don't want you here. I don't want to have any discussions with you. Uh, stay away from me um, and my family because uh, you're a real problem. You should absolutely wish for all the people within Eskom, within any of the other power producers to do the absolute best to give us the most stable power supply. And uh, one of the things that we can do across the country is to encourage, like in the past, the paper pulp industries, the sugar mill uh, industries that would uh, produce their own power. You know, I've been in extensive meetings with these people when we did the unit standards for power generation operators. So we've had other um, industries actually generate power within the country. That should happen. We should have more industry producing power for themselves. And uh, it's very important that that happens as soon as possible, that government deregulate that, that it's possible for them to do that. What you do have to control is who su just supplies into the grid. Now, supplying into the grid and supplying yourself is two completely different topics. And I will do a separate video on that and explain to you why Every Tom, Dick and Harry can't just connect their power supply to the grid willy-nilly and why this is a huge problem for an integrated uh, nationwide grid. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want more content like this, please subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for new videos and you will find uh, my social media links in the description below this video as well as in the first comment. You can go to Twitter, Facebook, you can go to Telegram and join those groups there and become a part of a community that want to change the system we find ourselves in within South Africa. Thank you very much. Till the next video.